Hello everyone, welcome to the Zen of Tech. I'm Daniel and this is a monitor. Yes, now why am I showing you an image of a monitor? Actually, a video of a monitor. Well, uh, because my MacBook Pro, my Retina MacBook Pro, whoops, uh, this baby is connected via HDMI to my external display. Now, why am I doing this? Well, because I want to show you some gameplay videos of different games. Now, in the previous video, I showed you a Crisis 3 gameplay, uh, which was actually this one filmed a couple of minutes ago and in this video I'm going to film Battlefield 4 and show you how Battlefield 4 runs on uh, the late 2013 Retina top of the line Retina MacBook Pro. Once again this is a 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro with a quad core i7 Haswell i7 16 gigs of RAM 512 gigabytes of flash storage Nvidia 750M 2 gigabytes of dedicated video memory GDDR5 and all that good stuff. Anyway, the full specs of my machine are in uh, the annotation, sorry, in the description box down below. Now, once again, in this video, we are going to test Battlefield 4 and see how it runs on my MacBook Pro. So, let's take a look and see how many frames per second we are going to get. Enjoy the video. Hopefully you can see this in the video, I am using NVIDIA's GeForce Experience to optimize basically all of my games. So in case you don't know what this does, is uh, downloads the latest driver for your video card, your GPU and optimizes the game for that exact specific GPU you have. So let's launch the game. So there we go, Battlefield 4. Let's open up the game and go to options, go to video and uh, those are my settings. So the resolution is 1600 by 900. This is a 1080p display, but this is what resolution the NVIDIA GeForce experience suggested me. Uh, and then the graphics are texture quality low, low, high on lighting quality, low once again, ultra, apparently ultra, on post process quality, low, low, low once again, and high on uh, anti-aliasing post. So, let's go back and campaign, and uh, should we start a new campaign or should we resume this? Uh, let me just start a new campaign and okay and normal there we go okay so in case you don't know you can see uh, the frames per second in the top right corner of my display now i'm recording this with a camera because if i use fraps this is fraps by the way if i use fraps to record this my frame rate would drop with about i don't know 10 to 5 between 20 and 5 frames per second which is quite uh, quite significant so that is why i'm recording all of my gameplay my gaming my gameplay test with, uh, with the camera. So there we go, we are now getting 60 frames per second, 55, but the game hasn't begun yet. Right. 38 frames per second, 40. The graphics are mind blowing, by the way. So cool. some of the finest driving I've ever seen. Yeah, they're pretty much fun. The fuck you think you're done? The fuck you thinking? But the wolf to survive has got to chew off its own leg. Fire! Negative, don't do it! I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, should I do it? Should I do it? I'll do it. Of course I'll do it. Because I want to play the game, honestly. That's only that's the only way to play the game. 13.4 minutes earlier. And now we can play the game. Yes, we can play the game. And as you can see, hopefully you can see in the top right corner, we are getting about 40 frames per second. Um, the graphics, this is how the graphics look. Really, really good. Unfortunately, I cannot shoot anyone. So it's not yet. Uh, reach the safe house. Okay. Uh, the graphics are... Oh, come on. Left control. I hate this when this happens. Uh, by the way, let me know in the comment section down below. Post a comment right now if you want to see some gameplay of Battlefield 4 on my gaming channel which is zone of gaming uh, my gaming channel should be on the uh, uh, <laughs> my gaming channel my, ah, come on my gaming channel should be annotated 
uh, in uh, this video as well as in the description. So hopefully you can go to that channel and check it out. Anyway, let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to do a gameplay of this, a commentary to get the idea. So yeah, this is how Battlefield 4 is 40 frames per second. Let's change the, uh, let's change the graphics just a bit and see how many frames per second we are going to get if we bump this up to 1080p because once again most of you will be playing this at 1080p if you have a monitor so let's go back change settings we should be getting yeah we are now getting about 25 frames per second yeah 25 frames per second let's see what happens if we <laughs> bump this up to oh by the way for some reason auto puts everything on high on my system, which is kind of weird because my system cannot handle high. Uh, so let's try ultra. <laughs> if it can handle high, maybe it can handle ultra. Uh, fuck logic. Okay. So on ultra, we are getting 15 frames per second, which is uh, actually a lot higher than we got with Crisis 3. Once again, if you haven't seen my Crisis 3 video, the link should be in the description down below. So yes, this is Battlefield 4. Um, for some reason, I keep saying, I don't know. I want to say like Battlefield 3, uh, but no, this is Battlefield 4, this is how the graphics look on Ultra, 1080p Ultra, 15 frames per second, which is not that bad, uh, but once again, it's not playable for an FPS, so let's try, let's try high, we should be getting about 18, I believe, 18 frames per second, come on, come on, come on, yeah, <laughs> exactly 18, oh, and a bit higher, 20 something, 23, 22 frames per second, but keep in mind, we don't have any soldiers, any helicopters, anything in the background. We don't have anything except this room. So if we had, I don't know, a lot of soldiers, the uh, frame rate would drop to, I don't know, about 5 frames per second or something like that. So let's try putting this to a uh, medium. Oh, by the way, if we keep this on high and lower the resolution to, uh, let's say, HD, is that a full HD? There we go, this is HD. Okay. And yes. So if we do this, we can play the game on high and get over 40 frames per second. So basically it all depends on the resolution. The resolution is the one which takes up uh, the most frames per second. So if we, if we run this at a retina resolution, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I actually did that in my crisis video. And uh, we got really, really low <laughs> frames per second. So once again, the link for the crisis video is in the description box. Okay, so I'm kind of lost now. Uh, I need to find a room with the pigeons. Should be this one. There we go. Hold and up. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna shot you in the face. Lost it. Whoops! Crash. Yeah, Battlefield 4. I believe it crashed. Had to stop working. Yes. So I believe I have to end this video now. Yes, this was basically Battlefield 4 running on my 15-inch uh, 2013, late 2013, top-of-the-line 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro. So thank you all for watching this video. The question is, is the game playable? Yes, the game is fully playable. Uh, the best option for you is to use, once again, the NVIDIA GeForce Experience to optimize your game. And that way you can play the game on... Um, I, I just saw my video, some of, the, some, of the uh, some of the settings were on low, some of them were on medium, some of them were on, were on high, and some of them were even on ultra. Uh, and the resolution was 1680 by 1050, I believe, and the game ran pretty smooth. Uh, I was getting between, I believe, 40 and 50 frames per second, which is really, really playable. So, thank you all for watching this video. Uh, next time, I'm going to do a Batman Arkham Origins gameplay on my system. So, yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to check uh, me out on Zone of Gaming, my gaming channel. And leave a comment down below if you want me to do a gaming video of Battlefield 4. So once again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.